Hi friends, welcome to another video of Big Tech Talk. Today, we will try to explore input plugin for Logstash. So, what is Logstash? Logstash is an open source server side data processing pipeline that ingests data from a multitude of sources simultaneously, transforms it, and then sends the data to Elastic. Data is often scattered across many systems in many format. Logstash supports a variety of input that pulls the data from multiple sources at the same time. Logstash pipeline has two required elements, input and output, and one optional element that is filter. The input plugin consumes the data from the source. The filter modifies the data as we specify and the output plugin writes the data to Elastic. As you can see, this is the list of input plugins for Logstash, which includes Kafka, JMS, JDBC, Log4j, Azure, SQLite, File and HTTP. As of now, we will try to load a file to Elastic via Logstash. As you can see, my Elasticsearch and Kibana is up and running. If you have not installed Elasticsearch, Logstash and Kibana, I would request you to go to video description for installation videos. As you can see, Kibana is running on localhost 5601. So I will go to my web browser and type localhost 5601. As you can see, Kibana UI is up and running. Now we will go to management, index pattern and click on create index pattern. As you can see, I have only one index pattern over here. So, to push data to Logstash, we need a configuration file. So, let's create one. As you are aware that Logstash configuration file has three parts. Input, Filter and Output. For our scenario, we don't require filter. So, we will remove it. Since we are going to push a file, we'll mention a file tag over here. Then the path type, let's name it as Apache. Then the start position. start position we will mention it as beginning the start position tells the log stash from where to start reading the file for the very first time so for that reason we have mentioned it as beginning because we want that logstash should read our file from the beginning. And now we will mention the path. This is my log file. I will copy this path. And I will say all the files that ends with dot log. And we'll change it like this. That is all what we need to do in the input plugin. Now let's go to output plugin. Over here, we have to push the data to Elastic. So we'll mention it as Elasticsearch. Elasticsearch. 
then the host this will be elastic search host name and the port for me it's localhost and 9200 now we have to mention the index where we want to push the data so let's name it as apache log yeah so you can see in the input we have mentioned path we have mentioned type we have mentioned start position output we have mentioned elastic search host our elastic host name and port and the index we will save the file with the name as logstash apache log.conf once the file is saved let's go to powershell now we have to go to our logstash folder so for me this is my logstash location as you can see this is my logstash folder i will copy this location this is my logstash and this is my configuration file so logstash under bin under logstash mention hyphen f the file name and the configuration file this is our configuration file as you can see logstash is already started now just refresh your UI and you will see the Apache log index over here. We will map the index to Kibana. These are the fields. You can see the message where actual message what we have pushed from the file should come. So let's go to discover section. You can see Apache log is already selected and we have pushed the data over here. So friends, if you like the content, hit the like button and subscribe for more such videos. Thank you.